Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak, and this is, video is going to be talking about nitrogen, and I'm going to tell you exactly what we scientists already know, and the lies that you are being told by other hobbyists, and by manufacturers who manufacture your fertilizers. They're out and out blatantly lying to you. First of all, if you remember one of my other videos, I told you how you fertilize every single day and about the last four hours of when your lights are on when you're at peak photosynthesis and earlier on I mentioned that that and the reason is iron manganese and several other trace elements are only water soluble for a short time they oxidize in the presence of oxygen precipitate and are then useless as plant nutrients. When you talk about hobbyists, they, they add these chemicals to their water, and I'm sure you're seeing it on forums and stuff, and I'm the only one who's told you add it every day, a little bit, only that, because once it hits oxygen, they become useless nutrients to your plants and you are wasting your time and you are wasting your money by putting a lot in and thinking that three four days you'll add more remember a little bit goes a long way the last four hours your lights are on it will work far far better than if you try to put it in and thinking three or four days later and you're not going to have carbon and and you think it's going to be good and everything else well that's what happened to iron. Yet iron will show up on your test kits if you're using iron. And you'll say, well, see, I have iron there. Yeah, you have iron. You're absolutely right. But it's been, uh, it's been oxidized. Because oxygen has oxidized it. And it shows up on your test kit. And you think, I have plenty of iron. But the plants can't use it. You understand what I'm saying? The plants can't use it. And the test kits are deceiving you, thinking, oh, I got plenty of iron. No. Put your iron in when I told you to, the last four hours. Next thing we're going to talk to, to you about is nitrogen. Boy, is that got to be the biggest lie that you ever, ever are being told. Nitrogen. I'm going to read you a patio plant fertilizer. It's a plant for it. Wardley's makes it. Okay, it's a plant. It's called plant grow, aquatic plant food. And it's made for your plants outside, you know, your potted plants. Uh, you may make a garden patio thing with a miniature water lily, a papyra. Uh, you may put some bog plants in it. You're going to need some kind of fertilizer for these because, of course, you don't have fish or anything else. And this is understandable. And this is what this fertilizer is designed to do. And it's got nitrogen in it. It's got to have nitrogen in it, but I'm going to read you the ingredients right from Wardley's Plant Grow. It's got ammonia nitrogen, nitrate nitrogen, water insoluble nitrogen, urine nitrogen. It's got potash, potash. Uh, it's got mag manganese, iron, zinc, copper, boron. Okay, these are all things that your plant needs, and it's an overall around fertilizer for when you have no fish present, you have a little bitty pot. And of course, it's a big fertilizer because these plants, like a water lily, is a very aggressive intake, the root system of taking in ammonia. And so they make it as ammonia nitrogen. Even a person on my uh, video had mentioned how he thought one of my plants needed nitrogen. I've also read on forums how people have said, your plants need nitrogen and they may have a lack of nitrogen and that's when I made a comment to them of well what kind of nitrogen am I lacking am I lacking ammonia nitrogen am I mac uh, lacking uh, nitrate nitrogen am I lacking urine nitrogen well he disappeared and didn't answer me now these nitrogens are more than an abundant supply in our aquariums without adding anything of nitrogen into the tank. 
and these fertilizers that seem to be used and people say you got to have nitrogen because there are certain manufacturers that advocate that you use nitrogen. In fact, I'm going to read you something on Dr. Sm Foster and Smith about nitrogen. Nitrogen is one of the main three macronutrients. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That is a lie. That is an out and out blatant lie. This is how they make their money off of you. If you want to be obtuse and believe in it, go ahead and believe in it and buy their product. No, it is not. It, 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 it's, well see, maybe they're not lying. Maybe they're tricking you because if you have no nitrogen, remember the, the patio pot I told you about has no nitrogen? Well, if you have no nitrogen, yes, it becomes a, a macronutrient. But if you have a planted aquarium and you have the nitrogen cycle going on and you're feeding fish and you're going to have plenty of ammonia being produced and probably nitrates being produced, you're going to have plenty of nitrogen. So, in a way, they're lying about the aquarium, but they're not telling you the full truth. If you had a patio pot, this would be great, but not for the aquarium. These should be avoided like the plague. And when hobbies say, well, you need nitrogen, really? And what farm do I need that nitrogen? Because nitrogen all boils down to one thing. It all boils down to either ammonia, ammonia nitrogen, nitrate nitrogen, or urine nitrogen. It's got to be one of those nitrogens. And they're all being made more in abundance. And in fact, there are scientists that have said already that these nutrients are already in oversupply in aquariums and causes problems in the aquarium. Overfertilization with these nutrients normally leads to severe plant damage. Now that is by Host and Kipper, two scientists who did nothing but study plants. There it is, your scientists telling you. They do plant damage when in oversupply. You're already supplying them, and you're going to add more into aquarium. This is not a tub sitting in direct sunlight growing a water lily that's very aggressive and needs a lot, a lot, a lot of ammonia to th survive, or a papyra, or a, a lotus that needs extremely large amounts of ammonia to be taken in, and therefore these nitrogen tablets do great of growing lotus. But they're not so for our aquariums. There's a difference between an aquarium and a pond, an aquarium and a tub that you put outside to grow aquatic plants. What does nitrogen do? Well, first of all, nitrogen is terrible for most of your crypts that are out there. If you have any of these plants and the crypts are not, well, they're not exposed to nitrogen in the wild and they do not know how to recognize nitrogen and since they can't uh, differentiate in their intake of nutrients in other words they can't tell the difference between nutrients they just take them in okay they can't tell one nutrient from another Crips can't and therefore they take in all nutrients and since they can't do that the nitrate is taken in by the plant in large amount, but is then stored in the tissue as useless. Over fertilization with nitrate, for example, is considered to be one of the major causes of crip rot. For these plants, the smallest chemical or physical change in their environment can have catastrophic effects. That is quoted from Host and Kipper. 
In other words, crypts take in nitrogen. They don't know how to utilize it, and they just rot. So if you have a problem with your crypts and you're adding nitrogen, most likely they're rotting from crypt rot. So nitrogen being sold by companies to the hobbyists and hobbyists telling other hobbyists that you need nitrogen is a blatant out and out lie. If you have a fish tank, you have fish, you're producing more than enough ammonia and nitrates for your plants to convert that nitrate back into. Now remember, you're adding nitrogen, which means the plant has to convert it back into ammonia. Well, that's chemical work. So what you have just done is added a ion into your water that's already being made and more in abundant supply. And now the plant has to do chemical work to convert it back into ammonia. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? And now you're going to raise your nitrates, which affect your fish, your animals, and uh, will affect your plants if they take in too much of nitrates. But, but uh, now, now here's the trick. Since they can only take it during peak photosynthesis, and you added all that nitrogen because someone told you you add nitrogen to your tank, what happens to that nitrogen when the plants aren't photosynthesizing? Well, something, something in your tank could use that nitrogen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cyanobacteria and algae. Yeah, and they can take that nitrogen in without even peak photosynthesis. Hmm. Only your plants, because they're higher order plants, have to take it during peak photosynthesis. But the algaes don't. And then you end up with algae problems because somebody, out of the goodness of their heart, told you to buy some nitrogen from a reputable manufacturer. And you did it. You listened to them. Don't be bamboozled by people who think they know what they're talking about. Scientists have proven nitrogen is being made in overabundant supply already. Don't add more of what's already being made. Until next time, this is Dr. Kevin Novak. Happy ponding and happy uh, aquariums too.